eat. No! Okay, here are the ingredients. Five cups of chicken broth. You can substitute water, but it's not as tasteful. The giblets, which are the turkey neck heart and gizzard found inside a turkey. A half an onion, chopped. Two bay leaves. Four tablespoons reserved fat or melted butter. One third cup all-purpose flour. One half tablespoon dried sage. Salt and fresh ground pepper to taste. Okay, I've got my sage, bay leaves, and chicken broth ready to go. And then here we have the old giblets, consisting of the gizzard, heart, neck, and liver. We won't use the liver because it's filtered out all of the urine the turkey ever produced, and that can't be good for you. And last, but not least, we have our chopped onion. Okay, pop open the chicken broth into the pot. Then a cup of water, neck, gizzard, and heart, of course the onion, two bay leaves, these little buggers won't come out of here, okay, and a tablespoon of sage. Here it is, all in a pile of sorts. Give it a little stir. And now we'll turn it to medium heat. Okay, drop the lid and bring it to a simmer. Once it all warms up, you'll want to turn the heat down a little bit to keep it at a simmer. And then, well, just let it simmer for two or hours or so. In this case, we had a turkey cooking, and I'm going to pull out a little fat from the drippings. If you want, you can reserve four tablespoons of fat and use that in the next step. But I'll just pull out a little bit of, dri of drippings and use butter after that. Okay, now I'm going to start slowly stirring in the flour. You have to do this slowly because you want to really just make a roux. You don't want the flour to get chunky. I add a bit more drippings and some more butter and just keep working it together. I've pulled it off the heat because you don't want it to start burning. Then ease a little more flour in. Keep working it that way until you've used all of your butter and or reserved fat and stirring it into a thick goo-like substance. Once you have your roux all done, it's time to add in your tasty giblet broth. But before you can add that, you will have to strain it. No one likes a turkey neck in their gravy. There we go, nice, clean giblet broth. Now we add giblet broth into the roux and keep working it with the whisk. You'll want to add it slow so you can keep working that roux into the broth. Otherwise, it can collect at the bottom, leaving you thin broth on top and goo on the bottom. Once you have it all combined, keep stirring and bring it back to a simmer. If it seems 
a bit thin at this point, that's okay. You have to let it simmer for 15 minutes. After that, it should be perfect. But, if you need, you can control the thickness of your gravy by letting it simmer longer, evaporating more water. You could also add a bit more flour here while it simmers to get it really thick. But tread carefully on those dark waters, because adding flour at this point can make your gravy chunky. That's right, chunky gravy. If you follow these directions, you should get golden gravy. Okay, now for the final presentation over some homemade mashed potatoes on Thanksgiving Day. Thanks for watching, and go cook eat now. Eat now!